Now, I've been teasing our first guest of the show. He's called Felix Lindsell Hales. He submitted a track that I really loved to our upload. So it was only right that I had to get him on. He will tell you more about the band, their Year of the Dog, uh, a brass bass band, and he's the vocalist. Hi, Felix. Hello, how are Hi. you? No, I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So, let's talk about this upload experience. We'll start right at the beginning. So, but before you even sent your song my way, tell me a little bit about your background in music, where you came from before even Year of the Dog came to play. Uh, well, I guess me personally, I've been a guitarist and worked my way up and then the band formed at the Royal Welsh College of Music where most of the guys studied jazz. Mm. So you, and you can probably hear that in the music because <laughs> um, <laughs> they're smashing. Uh, I studied composition and then the rest of the... And then Pete studied classical trombone, which is why there's such a lovely fat low end in the in the brass section. Sure. So you all bring um, a little bit... Uh, you know, you all bring your own take to the band. So let's just go through what Year of the Dog makes up. So we've got yourself on vocals and guitar. Am I right yep. in thinking we've got Jacob on bass? Yeah. Luke Hartley on drums. That's the man. Ollie Jenkins on saxophone. The one and the only. <laughs> I'm just going to say that I love a saxophone. It's why I listen to Sam Fender so much, because he has some banging saxophone lines uh, in, in a lot of his songs. So I already knew you guys were onto a win with that. Um, and you've got Peter on bass, trombone. Bass trombone, and that's one. Gareth Thomas on trumpet. Now, we will get yes. into the band. We will get into what you're up to this year. But I noticed when you were filling out your form and upload, you mentioned quite a few things, that you were born in London. Um, you sort of been back and forth growing up. Tell me about what happened when you hit 18. I know your uncle was a bit of a musical influence as well. Yeah, I ended up, he took me down to Ain't Nothing But The Blues Bar in Carnaby. And I just ended up just rocking around there for as much as I could because it was amazing because you're in a bar with other in, uh, instrumentalists and they're just playing amazing music and it just really just pushed pushed everything for me. Sure. And out of lockdown, I'm really aiming to get to some more venues. Is there anywhere else across London that you'd recommend or was that sort of your main go-to? That was my main go-to. I did go to actually Camden Assembly a bit, which is where we're actually playing. Oh, sneaky. Uh, that was, so. I knew that was coming. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely get into that because I know you've got, you've got a gig coming up there in March. Um, but so, so you've, you know, been brought up with all of this musical influence and you're, you're a bit of a guitar fan. I know that you, you've acquired a bit of a collection growing up. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm personally, I'm a huge fan of John Frusciante, the guitarist from Red Hot Chili Peppers, and he's amazing. And when it got into lockdown, because I was even because I studied composition, I never really got enough of a chance in uni to hone my instrument. But then when lockdown happened, I had time. Like we all had time, and that's when I decided. I just constantly played every single Red Hot Chili Peppers song I could, and just learned every solo. And then that enabled me to be able to play a lot better. And that and then improved our sound and had a great knock-on effect, I think. Sure. And studying composition, is, that, is there a lot of solo work involved in that? Because from my own experience when I'm writing songs, it's quite easy to be precious <laughs> over those things that we write. So when you brought those songs to a band, was it easy to sort of hand over those ideas? Or actually, in that study work, did you get a chance to, to mingle with other musicians and, and, and grow on your sort of group songwriting tactics? Well, as a composer, I'm I'm very much I just end up doing things solo. I mean, at uni, I I lived in the studio. I was like a little hermit, and it was my own little thing. <laughs> like with other people, I didn't really book it ever because I was always there, so uh, yeah. I just work around other people. Oh, but, Felix, uh, so. I I relate. I went to Nottingham Trent, and I spent every moment I could in that piano room. It was yeah, almost exactly. like that. You just zone out, don't you? And you think, I don't yeah, need to book time it. I'm part of the furniture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, eventually you got yourself out of that practice room and met these lovely lads. So tell me how you kind of got together and decided you wanted to start a project. Yeah, so Luke and I have been playing for a while. We kind of grew up together. Uh, the drummer, and he's obviously amazing. So I'm not letting go of him anytime soon. Sure. Uh, but uh, then I released... I, I was just doing a little electric swing track um, and it was called Run These Streets. And I got some brass players in that I heard were good around college. 
and they they played on the track and then it just sounded they they were just so good and then we kind of felt there was something special there and then we just had a jam and it went from there and then that track is the track that we ended up recording and we played on sex education Amazing. So, Felix, you're here with the vocals as part of the band Year of the Dog. You submitted that track to our uploader. And it seems like the pace has picked up quite quickly. You mentioned Sex Education there, a series that I was absolutely addicted to. It's so sad when I finish the series and I think, gosh, what shall I, what shall I watch now? Tell me about that experience. Uh, yeah, it was great. It was, it was very surreal. By third season... Um, it, 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 we got a bit more used to it, but especially the first season, because everyone there, of course, are the top of their game. You've got top level actors, top level crew, directors, you know, cameras worth ridiculous amounts of money. And then there's six lads who have had no interest in filming previously. Uh, the camera goes on us, and then we're all just going, how do you breathe? I've forgotten <laughs> how to breathe. How do you look normal? Like, well, how, it, <laughs> yes. This is a really surreal thing to do. But Felix, hang on, I feel like I've skipped a step, and it's probably confusing people, but it is me. We're talking about um, sex education, but how, as a new band, how did you even enter the world of the film and TV? How did that become a possibility for you guys? Right, yeah, so it was they sent an email because at this point it wasn't called sex education. It was called schooled because um, they thought they wouldn't have got proper funding and stuff because of the name, you know, people wouldn't take it seriously. But we got an email forwarded to us because they, they contacted uh, Cardiff uni music department saying we're looking for a swing band. And we weren't really a band at that point. We hadn't, we didn't have a name. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, so a bit I like just... the, the, the Netflix series. <laughs> You're in the same yeah, boat yeah, there at exactly. least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So I just got in touch and said, I've got a band and we'll be whatever you want us to be. And our first gig, we got a video of Run These Streets and sent it over. And then they listened to it and they loved it and we ended up playing it. Wow, that's amazing. Now, obviously, I'm sure any band would absolutely jump at the opportunity to be involved in a project like that. But kind of saying we'll be anything you want us to be then lends itself to, well, what is our identity following that project? So how did you find your sound as a band? It was really in lockdown because that's the thing. I think the reason it's, it's nice that we're able to say we'll be whatever you want us to be in the fact that we are like we train, we're trained musicians. That's what we do. We train to be able to play in different ensembles and different genres. But that meant that we were really unsure of how to find a sound that we identified with. But in lockdown, when all our gigs and our festivals were swept away, we just managed to, we just had time to really like focus on the music itself and the structure and find something that we resonate with and it just the end product is like is what well, it's this song it's this ain't over I love that and I love that there's so many brass elements involved in your music it's just something a little bit different because I guess over lockdown a lot of the songs that trended were sort of electronic based or they were all made on a computer and I'm not uh, in any way uh, kind of going against that style but I do love live music and I love live music incorporated into a single, an album, an EP. So with lockdown in mind, have you had much of a chance to perform together aside from the, the Netflix series of course? Through, through lockdown, do you mean? Yes. Uh, well, uh, sort of just before or sort of out of lockdown, have you been able to take to the yeah, stage that, much? Oh, right. I see what you mean. Sorry. Yes, we have. Um, we did a couple gigs last year, but not many because of uh, bookings were just, they were there and then they were gone, you mm. know? <laughs> yeah. So then we, for this year, already in Jan, we've, we just played one last night at uh, the Fleece and that was great. And then we've got one this next Friday and they're just being booked up like mad. And it just feels so great and our first bit gig i think we were we were, we closed cheltenham festival amazing and the euphoria was just unlike anything other that stage and adrenaline so, is second to none isn't it <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> super exactly. well felix i want you to stay on the line um i think we should give the song um a listen uh it's this ain't over you submitted it to our upload let's give it a little listen and, and it kind of then explains what we've been talking about and finding your sound and then after that um i want to hear a little bit more about your upload experience and also where we can find you uh, as well as your upcoming gig at the camden assembly is that all right yeah that sounds smashing now i know i've just done it but do me the honors introduce this track that you uploaded for us yes hello london we are the brass house soul sound and our name is yeah the dog this is our brand new single, This Ain't Over. Oh. 
burning out They warn me this is how I go And I don't bow My box of matches rattling like the day they count Sister pray for my soul I am fighting down I see it in the rain Not for to get a chance to hesitate Can you feel the room, feel it resonate? Let's go together, push down the deck tonight. Cause anything goes right here. Yeah. Anything goes right now. Nah. Anything goes right here. Yeah. Anything goes. Not the same. Wow, such a vibe. That is This Ain't Over by Year of the Dog. It was their vocalist, Felix, that uploaded the song to our BBC local radio upload. And I came across it, picked it, and here we are. Felix, thanks so much for uploading that. Pleasure. Thank you for playing it. Now, speaking of the upload, let's talk about the process. Where did you hear about the upload? Uh, I heard about it from factory studios we had a little um it was, it's called mass record sorry and it's it's a great thing that you, any uh, bands i think they're across the country that you can submit to and they'll help you out but they they recommended that uh so i did and it was just so easy and straightforward and it's without a doubt the, the most straightforward and friendly way of submitting music to anything i've ever done <laughs> so highly that's what we like to hear so you found the process easy and and 
you gave us some some I think this is what I need to say to people that, that put their things through the upload give us as much information as much background sell yourself because I feel like that's something you guys did really well and I was intrigued and you mentioned you know even the even the things that we sometimes get self-conscious over oh should I mention that shouldn't I but I believe <laughs> so you know if you don't give it you don't get it and that's what you guys did so thank you so much now I must ask you are playing at the Camden Assembly tell me more about that gig that's coming up yeah that's on the 19th of march uh saturday camden assembly where we're going to be playing there i think we're going to be playing it's only like a short half an hour blasting through our best tunes i think it's like 8 30 but there's some other bands on as well so yeah do come along it should be a very good night amazing it's a nice warm-up after lockdown really isn't it you know half an hour yeah, exactly. and mingling with other like-minded people i love to see it and finally i love that track i'm sure people listening did too where can they find you yeah, so if you just type in, I mean, we're on all socials, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, and so on. And if you just tag this at Year of the Dog Band, just make sure you put in the band, though, because otherwise you'll just get loads of Chinese New Year stuff. Uh, <laughs> so you have to go through it a lot. <laughs> or maybe to, a random so, British yeah. pub somewhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very true. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. yeah. So that's at Year of the Dog Band. Make sure you mention yeah, band people. We've got a website that's www.yearthedogband.com and that's the best way to find out our, our gigs is through our website or just uh, socials or Spotify. Super. Uh, yes. Well, Felix, thanks ever so much. And you're my first upload guest. This is my first show and I'm glad that I got to incorporate you um, today. So thank you so much. I encourage everyone and anyone to do exactly what Felix did. If you've got something to show off, something creative, submit it in the uploader and you might join us on air. Cheers, Felix. Thank you so much. Cheers.